In this quick tip, we're going to learn about using the elements tree to drag and drop elements to reposition them. Here's how it works. With the new responsive engine enabled, elements in the tree can be clicked and dragged to reposition where they are on the canvas. These elements that we drag and drop in the elements tree will reposition based on the parent container layout type they are dragged into, and their initial position will vary based on if the parent container is opened or closed. For example, if the container is fixed or aligned to parent, and it is closed in the elements tree, elements that are dragged in will position themselves to the top left and default to the highest z-index. In other words, to the front of every element in the container. This is the same for rows and columns. Elements that are dragged into these closed container layouts will position themselves to the bottom and default to the last position, or the highest order for these containers. Once a container is opened in the elements tree, we can drag and drop any element to any position. So if we wanted to select this element and take it out of the group and onto the page, we can do so like this. If we wanted to put it in another group, we can either drop the group down and place the element where we want, or we can select the element hover over the closed group, and it will automatically open for us so we can choose where we want to place it. We can also drag and select containers to move them around and shuffle them between other containers on the page. Make sure you're aware of the container layout that you drop your elements into so you're not surprised if the visual appearance suddenly changes. You can always undo if you've made a mistake. That's it for this quick tip. For more, be sure to check out Bubble Academy.